and we are live at the Shaw Shop at the Grandstand at the moment. Uh, myself, Christy, with Chris Kinley, of course, and we've got Michael Dunlop and Gary Thompson with us for just a few more minutes. So if you want to send any messages, you can either email studio at radio, radio You can follow, of course, at Manx Radio TT on Facebook and Twitter as well. And I believe we are live in vision on Facebook right now, Chris. People are watching. How does that even work? It's a bit weird, it isn't is, it? It is, I'm not into all this <laughs> malarkey. Uh, road closures for tonight, you've obviously got them on yeah, there somewhere. We've yep. got the road closures for this evening, of course, for practice. So from Brule Park in Ramsey, the roads are due to close from 4.45pm, 5pm from the bungalow. And then uh, the rest of the course will close at 6pm. It's expected to be closed not later than 9.30. And with these conditions, you'd mm. expect it's going to go fairly smoothly, hopefully. Getting the big girl out for the first time tonight, Michael Superbike, is it? Yeah, Michael Dunlop? Yeah, we spend this evening, so it's... Um, yeah, it's going to be one of them ones. We'll uh, see what the old, old girl's going to handle like, you know. So it's it's the be the first run on something like that there. So yeah, we need to get out, um, try and see if we can get some lap times in. Super bike, super stock, and super sport tonight. No lightweight, and then the side cars. Uh, that, that, that's the running over tonight. You're going to give everything a run, or just see how you go with the super bike? Or I think we'll get the stock bike and super bike out. Um, Six hundred, obviously, we got out, mm. done two laps or something on on Saturday night. So it's, that was enough to reinvent the wheel. We, we've got a lot of changes I need to make to it. So because uh, there's a session on Tuesday night for them, there's no point really. And you know, it's for me anyway, I've got uh, with my brand new super bike, obviously, and. Uh, my stock bike I need to obviously spend a wee bit of time just trying to get them it's different for a lot of other people that have been riding the same bike as a as, as few years uh, or or have enough data from last year to carry through where I haven't so mm. we just need to spend a wee bit of time on the big bike just to see if everyone's going in the right direction Were you happy with the super sport times the other night I mean with some of the guys knocking in 125s 124s around that sort of uh, speed think, uh, yeah no it's happy enough I didn't, no, it wasn't reinventing the wheel it was just out uh, just bed and stuff in and we just come across a couple of problems that We'll, we'll, we'll fix over the next couple of days but yeah no, everyone seemed okay just dead enough okay and obviously uh, tomorrow night uh, well tonight sorry the sidecar is going out as well and we've got the virtual boys <coughs> on the show tomorrow morning so they'll be they'll be joining us here with uh, Dean Harrison on tomorrow morning as well so sidecar is getting a run out as well Christy anything else going to go to Gary yeah I've had a question from uh, Jal here just asking Michael why he stopped doing as many Irish nationals now uh, it's, it's funny but people say it but you know, people at home or any people don't understand what goes into racing. You know, I mean, especially somebody like myself was, uh, you know, to take a bike out nowadays. It's not where you used to buy a bike and uh, just rock up and do a race. You know, I mean, these bikes are so much finance and behind them. You know, what I mean, and every time you take them out, it's money, money, money. You know, I mean, people think, oh, you just rock up do a run out national road race. You know, before you know, it's two or three grand. Before you know, they don't understand the amount of time and effort, and you know, boys have to get off work. We got to bring boys with us from work and. It's just there's so much in it, and it's hard, you know. Everybody's it's it's a bit of a deep coat th- thing at home at the minute. It's it's not getting any easier. So, you know, we we do is do what we can. But you know, look, you know, it's funny people don't understand this. Is this is not my business. You know what I mean? It's I don't I race motorbikes for a hobby. You know what I mean? It's not to please everybody else to do it because I enjoy doing it. You know, and it has to suit uh, everybody's schedule to make it. Uh, a, a, beneficial and even to make it financially viable we have to understand that engines only do so many miles before they need rebuilt and by the time we go to the northwest we come here there's a lot of dough gathered up before we we, we, we head somewhere else again got a question in from uh, your good friend at thevisorshop.com I have no friends there <laughs> <laughs> any word about Michael Dunlop's flying lessons uh, I'm not going to read the rest of it because it's unbroadcastable before 9am 9pm or any time it says uh, flying you know, you don't like flying I know that no I'm going to I'm going to go and uh, you're not going up with him no, I'm sure nobody will go up with him no <laughs> sure. I won't even spend time with him let alone go up with him so no, he's, he thinks he's Mr. Big old uh, yeah, he's, he's going to reinvent the Stados wheel. from uh, EasyJet, yeah. That's what happens. You have too much money. Oh, uh, uh, obviously, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I, I've actually done a private plane from here, a small, little, tiny one from Hugh. Do you remember when he was oh, over there? Yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. Over to where did we go to? I think we went over to the late Richard Britton's funeral. In it, actually, yeah. to be honest with you, and we flew to the Sunflower meet one year in it as well. Oh, Hugh Lord. must been. He used to be the boy to go with, but he. He used to be four. He used to be a four seater. Used to go because he used to go and take holes in the floor. He used to take sheep and everything. He used to get in. You'd be sitting in the back seat with a sheep beside you or something. He's, I don't know why he was going <laughs> with them. Or when, when we went to the, when we went to Richard Britton's funeral, we had to stop off uh, at Newton Ards at Little Ards Airport. There, I said, "What's that smell in the back? Oh, we got a sea lion in the back." I'm like, "What? There was a sea lion in the back, and they stink off the thing." It was me and Milky. Can you imagine Milky's trying to kiss it and all this? Uh, you know what's going on? That here. is one of the most random conversations I've heard at this time of the morning. Well, that's it's, it's standard chat show fair. It is. Uh, 
Gary, we've got about two minutes left or so. What are your, obviously, uh, your hopes and thoughts ahead of TT 2018? Well, basically, days like today, we just hope that this is going to last through, and, uh, and apparently it is going to last through until, I've seen it until Tuesday next week. Uh, uh, I think we've got a shower coming in Wednesday or Thursday, early doors, but um, you know, if we've got weather like this for the for the remainder, remainder of this week, and obviously over the race weekend, then that makes our lives a lot easier, and uh, you know, I just hope all the lads uh, get around nice and safely and everybody has a great TT. And I'd just like to say a special thank you to the marshals. The marshals are out there. We have to have 531 marshals out on point uh, for a session to start. The marshals do a great... 531 f- people. Thank yeah. you very much, all of them. Yeah, Brilliant. 531. And uh, they, they've all signed on. They all do a great job. And you know, I keep saying you know, to them every night, they are my uh, eyes and ears. And without them, I couldn't do my job. So... You'll tell them that on the Tetra radio thing. Yeah, yeah. So the radio operators pass. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they are. They they do a fantastic job, and uh, you know they they're out there all hours, and um, especially the guys up on the mountain. They're uh, they're out there an hour later than everybody else. But it's a it's a good team effort. We're a cracking team up in race control, and and everybody does a great job. All right, Gary. Listen, thanks very much. Enjoy the sessions this evening, and Michael as well. Uh, obviously, tonight we just said you're going about the superbike and the superstock at the Super Sport. You'll, you'll, you might fork around with tomorrow night, and, and the pattern. I'm, I'm sure you're pretty happy with that, with, with that lap you put. I know, I know you won't be perfectly happy because you're never 100 percent happy because you're a bike racer. <laughs> yeah, no, we've got a bit to do. We've got a bit of work. To do. I don't know. We'll have a 600 ready anyway, so uh, look, we've got a bit of work to do. Uh, I want to start riding. We've got a bit of work to do with the pattern too, so we just need to. Spend a bit of time, but I think everyone, if we get the weather, it makes life a whole lot easier, doesn't it? Okay, Michael, enjoy the time and good luck with the Tyco boys tonight as well. And uh, Gary, good luck for this evening. Let's hope it's all safe and uh, no incidents and uh, we get a good practice session and underway on time. So please, if you are planning on going out to watch tonight, please get there early, in good time, park sensibly, don't park across people's drive. And if you're here for the first time, enjoy it Christy any more messages before we go we've got about 30 seconds and stay safe as well Uh, and uh, don't forget of course to listen to to Gary on uh, Conister Rock on Friday selfless plugs all the time for your other show isn't it well do you know what but it's about him it's all about him Uh, yeah do follow us on uh, Manx Radio TT you can send us messages on there lots of things coming through just people sort of saying they're listening from all over the world we've had America listening about Scotland listening about Ireland listening and uh, yeah and I believe uh, we've been uh, live on Facebook as well so you can follow us all through this week every morning from 8am uh, Ellen Vannon says thanks to Michael and all the other riders that signed photos for the charity auction for Ellen Vannon in images as well just about to add photos of Steve Mercer and Tim Reeves and Mark Wilkes as well so far hundreds and hundreds of pounds raised for the Rob Vine Fund so all uh, good there thank you very much to my guests this morning Gary Thompson MBE and also Michael Dunlop thanks to the Met guys and also thanks to you Christy for being here that's it from us thanks tomorrow you, morning yes thank you Yeah, Ben <laughs> Birchall and Tom Birchall and Dean Harrison I'll be back later on from 4 with the practice preview show but for now it's 9 o'clock time for the news with John Moss